What's going on, fam? It's your girl, Abiella Akani here, founder of Ia, and we are going to be moving forward with our Yin Yoga Chakra series. Today, we are going to be doing a Yin Yoga practice for our throat chakra, which is translated as Vishuddha in Sanskrit, and the color for that chakra is blue. Now, the meaning or exploration for this chakra is all about clear communication and resonance. So really having the ability to speak our truth, which is housed in the belly, and giving yourself permission to speak in fullness, be emboldened with what you want to say. This is Shade. She's going to be demoing for us some of the modifications in terms of props. You want to grab a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, y'all, that's fine. You can use some books. They work just fine. Just make sure they're the thick kind. Shade, we'll go ahead and extend our legs forward. Float our way down here. I invite you, if it feels safe, y'all, to keep your knees bent. And we'll just rest our hands alongside our hips and start with a little breathing. If it feels safe, I invite you to close your eyes. If you tend to disassociate from your physical body, y'all, when you close your eyes, you already know. Let's keep our eyes open. This is a practice of embodiment, not of escapism. So we're going to settle here, taking a few moments. So just notice the texture, the pace, and the consistency of our breathing. And from here, let's go ahead and start to find Ujjayi Pranayama, translated as the victorious breath. So we're going to find a fluid inhalation in through the nostrils. Fluid audible exhale out of the nose. Notice what tension you might be holding in the body here. Begin to allow the shoulders and the mid back, low back, upper back to melt into the mat. And just take a moment, y'all, to release, soften. We're going to continue to float through Ujjayi, so we're going to inhale for three seconds. Exhale out of the nostrils for three seconds and really allow the breath to drag along the back side of the throat. So let's go ahead and inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for one. Two, three. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for one, two, three. Continue to move through that breathing pace on your own and draw your awareness towards your throat. Notice how you're arriving here. Does it feel open and expansive, or does it feel tight and sticky, maybe a little bit constricted? Give yourself permission to just abide here and notice the sensations that are coming up in your throat chakra, and notice what it feels like for you to begin to speak emboldened or to really embody what you want to say and bring forth your truth. If that makes you a little bit uncomfortable and you feel resistance rising, I want you to sit with it. On the next inhalation, we're going to float through some bridge poses just to warm up the body. So Shadai, we're going to keep our knees bent. Make sure our feet are right underneath our knees and float the hands alongside our hips here. There you go. And on the inhale, we're going to root our feet. Inhale, lift the hips up to the heavens. Root and ground the feet. Lift the hips up to the heavens. There you go. Holding here. Go ahead and press the big toes into the earth. Invite the inner thighs together and pull the belly button up and in. You're going to hold here for a few rounds of breath, keeping your awareness in your throat. So kind of float your mind towards your, your throat. we got some 
pings coming in, y'all, text messages, but this is the modern day age. So just stay in your body, stay in your practice. On the exhale, Shade, let's lower our mid back, our low back, our glutes to the earth and settle in here. We're gonna find that again, but we're gonna continue to add. So on the inhale, let's root our feet, lift our hips up to the heavens for bridge pose. There we go. And this time, I invite you to walk your shoulder blades together. So walk your shoulder blades together to come to kiss underneath your body. There you go. Continue to lift and ground. I want you to walk your heels in a little bit more till you draw your hand. There you go. Push down. There you go. Right there. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Walk the shoulder blades in together. Nice. Right there. Now, if this doesn't feel safe in your low back, you don't have to walk the shoulder blades together. You can keep them rooted and grounded. I'm going to have Sade hold here. Lift up into my hand. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Right there. Draw the inner thighs together. Hold here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly open the shoulder blades first, and then lower the mid back, low back, and glutes. You can release the hands, draw them out alongside you. There you go, and hug the knees in. So hug the body in, hug the knees into the chest, hug the knees into the chest. Clasp and just rock left and right, left and right on your low back to release. We're going to keep adding on. So you can always just draw your knees in together. And this is just going to help release the low back, neutralize the spine. On the exhale, let's come back into our position for our bridge pose. We're going to root our feet in the earth, Chade. There you go. Keep the knees bent, hands alongside the hips. On the next inhalation, let's root the feet, lift, bridge pose, hips come high, hips come high. Nice. Now, I'm going to have Shade stay where she is, and we're going to continue to hold here. I'm going to walk my shoulder blades in a little bit. Feel yourself press your big toes into the earth, and that's just going to turn on the midline of your body. And also notice what's happening to your throat here. Because we're activating the throat, it's a little bit of a bandha, which is uh, translated as a root lock or a lock in Sanskrit. Just notice if resistance is coming up and see if you can sit with it. On the next inhalation, we're going to keep our right foot rooted, Shade. We're going to extend our left heel towards the chimney. So we're balancing. Left heel comes forward. There you go. Hold here. See if you can dorsiflex and engage that left foot. Turn it on. There you go. Root and ground that right foot. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Root that left foot. Let's lower our mid back, our low back, our glutes. You can hug the knees in back to the chest if that feels good. You can clasp the front of the knees or behind the knees. Find what feels available for you. We'll rock left and right here. So we're building a little heat. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Let's root our feet, for preparing for our bridge pose. Feet rooted, knees bent. On the inhale, let's ripple the booty up towards the heavens. Bridge pose. I'm going to walk my shoulder blades together. Shade is going to keep hers rooted. On the next inhalation, we're going to extend our right heel towards the chimney, holding here, rooting and grounding through that left foot. See if we can lift up one more inch. Hold here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Root that right foot. Let's lower our mid back, our low back, and our glutes. We can hug the knees in towards the body and just rock left and right. Now we're going to find something called a rolling bridge. So we're going to root our feet back in the earth. Hands come alongside the body. On the inhale, let's lift the hips up for our bridge pose. Hips coming high. Exhale, settle in right here. On the inhale, hands are going to come high to the heavens. Exhale, take them straight back, straight back, really expanding through the heart, holding here, ground through the feet, lift the hips, lift. Grab opposite elbows above the head. So you're just grabbing opposite elbows. Let's hold here a few more rounds of breath. There you go. Grab the opposite elbow with your left hand. There you go. Holding here for five, for four, 
for three, for two, for one. Inhale, hands come high to the heavens. Exhale, let's lower our hands with our mid back, our low back, and our glutes. Hug the knees in, windshield wiper. The legs left and right, left and right. Now we're gonna go through a rolling bridge pose. So we're going to kind of slowly lift the hips while we float the hands up and then exhale, lower the hands with the hips. So let's root the feet. Hands come alongside the hips, rooted and grounded. On the inhale, let's lift the hips up. For our bridge pose, hands are gonna float up. Hands high to the heavens. There you go, exhale, take them straight back behind you. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, hands come back high to the heavens. Lower the mid back, low back and glutes. Let's go through that again. Inhale, hands come high with the hips. Exhale, take the hands back. Inhale, hands come high to the heavens. Exhale, lower the hands with the mid back, low back and the glutes. Two more of those. Inhale, hands come high. Hips rise, exhale, hands come straight back behind us. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, hands come high. Let's lower on the exhale, mid back, low back, and glutes. Just one more, inhale, hands come high with the hips. Exhale, take the hands straight back, hold here. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, let's lower the hands with the mid back, low back, and glutes. Settling ground here. This time you're just going to windshield wipe with the knees left and right. So knees come left and right. Just releasing through the low back. This time we're going to come back to that bridge pose variation where the shoulder blades are coming together. So we did that earlier. So we'll come back into our bridge pose formation. Let's inhale, lift the hips. Start to walk your shoulder blades together. Nice. Interlace the fingers together in a fist. There you go. Holding here. Nice, root and ground through the heels. Press the big toes into the mat and invite the inner thighs together like there's a block there. There you go. Continue to hold and ground. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. I want you to keep your hands where they are. Don't unclean your fist, but lower your mid back, low back, glutes. You might loosen the fist just a little bit. Rest the booty on the fist, extend the legs long. So this is a variation of what we could call a fist pose. Her throat is expanded and open here, but it's a little bit more supported because you're using your own body weight to stay lifted in this fish pose. And you're also doing a shoulder rinse, expanding and opening through the heart. Continue to hold here. On the inhale, Shade, go ahead and bend your knees. Root and ground the feet. Lift the hips up. Release your fist. And slowly lower the hips to the earth. You can draw the hands up and just roll out the wrists a little bit. Just give them a little bit of space here. And we'll find a supported shoulder stance here. We're gonna use our Jenga block set for this. So before I'm gonna have Shade use our little makeshift block here, and I'm just going to do the more further application variation. So to start, what I would have you do is inhale, come to your bridge pose, lift your hips. So I'm gonna have Shadi lift her hips here. I'm gonna position her blocks right underneath her sacrum at the top of her glute. Exhale, lower. There you go. Let's lift the hips a little bit more. I'm gonna bring it down a little. There we go, and lower. There we go, and then inhale, she's gonna hug her knees in, into the body. Yep, lift the knees up, and then hands come high to the heavens. Nope, not the hands, or actually the feet, sorry y'all. <laughs> so holding here, so this is gonna be a modified shoulder stand. Other option here would be 
rooting, lifting the hips, walking the shoulder blades in, and rocking your body up. Holding here, forearms rooted. Option to stay here. Option to extend one leg to the heavens. Option to extend the opposite leg. So Shade will stay in her modified version and we'll hold here for a few rounds of breath. Once again, you can just have the blocks underneath the hips or if you have shoulder stand in your practice, you can come to this version with me. Find what feels safe for your body. Keep the practice non-performative, y'all. You don't have to push yourself to do anything that feels unsafe. A few more rounds of breath here. On the exhale, Shadi, let's hug our knees into our chest. And then you can root your feet into the earth when you're ready. All the way down to the earth, all the way down. And then for Shade, I'm gonna roll my way down, slowly holding my hips. I'm gonna have Shade stay on the blocks and just extend her legs long. Now, if you have the blocks here, this is a psoas stretch. So you're stretching the front of the hips. I'm gonna have her hold here, inhale, hands come high up to the heavens, exhale, draw the hands straight back behind you and hold. Now our final pose variation here is actually not gonna be a pose, it's a pranayama practice. So it's a, it's a breath practice to activate your throat chakra. So right here while her throat and her heart is expanded, I'm gonna have her do a soft humming. So she's gonna draw her lips together and then hum out of her nostrils. So go ahead and draw your lips together. It's gonna feel awkward at first. And the breath is going to softly pour out of the nostrils. And then when you need to take an inhale, take an inhale and begin again. Inhaling here. One more deep inhale. And release. It might feel a little awkward, y'all, but what we want to get comfortable with is resonance in the throat. Allowing yourself to make an awkward sound in your throat and be okay with it, sit with it, instead of covering or shrouding your voice. So on the inhale, Shade, I'm going to have you float your hands up to the heavens. Exhale, float them down alongside the hips, bend the knees, root the feet into the earth. Lift the hips here, and I'm just going to move the blocks out from underneath you, lower the mid-back, low back, and the glutes. Hug the knees in one final time. Let's rock left and right here. And slowly root our feet back into the earth. Shalasana, final resting posture, keeping the knees bent. Once again, option to close the eyes. You can keep them open if that feels safe. Settling here. If you'd like, you can stay in Shalasa a little bit longer if that is what your heart is calling for, or you want to spend a little bit more time 
resting in your throat chakra, I invite you to do so. Or you can join me in slowly wiggling the toes and fingers, bringing gentle movement back into the body. As you rock and roll over to the left side in a fetal position, so we'll just come onto our left side body. Resting here for a moment. In this natural position, we are all birthed from. And on the inhale, let's slowly rise to a comfortable seated position of your choice. I always come to Varasana, coming on my hands and knees. You can take any position that you'd like that feels comfortable. I invite you to close your practice with whatever hand mudra feels intuitive to you and showcase his gratitude for our practice today. Traditionally, palms are drawn together at heart center, a little space in between the palms with thumbs pressing into heart center for Anjali Mudra. Let's take a deep inhale here through the nostrils. Deep exhale out of the mouth, H-A. We'll each repeat one time. I've done my best. I leave the rest. Namaste, fam.